I'm Graham Heckling. Uh, I'm the director for the Centre for Wildlife Health at the University of Tennessee here in Knoxville. Uh, one of my main research projects at the moment is this uh, tick-borne disease project, and that's part of a NSF-funded project, five different universities collaborating. So this is what we call a drag cloth. It's a metre square of corduroy, and we drag that through the forest behind us, and, and that's our main technique for figuring out the abundance of ticks at different times of year. So we've, we've been working here in Tennessee for the last five years, and we've been to about 50 different counties. We've looked at ticks that we've pulled off deer in the fall that hunters have brought in, and then we've dragged. And when we drag, the most common tick by far that we find are the lone star ticks, the amblyoma. And so we'll get you know maybe one or 200 of those in an hour of dragging, and if we're lucky, we might get one or two black-legged ticks. One thing I've, I've heard a lot of stories about is the best way to get a tick off you. And I, I think we've all heard those stories that you know, use a cigarette lighter or nail polish and so on. And really what, what I would say is the very best thing is just get fine needle-nosed forceps, grab the tick right down at the base where it's entering the skin. Because that bit's a nice solid bit that you can grasp onto and pull it up there and just pull straight out and make sure you get the, the mouth parts out as well. 